you're making using robots here? Yeah, with three Lily robots. Okay. In the early yeah. yeah. So I suppose we've come up from the south today just to look at slurry storage systems and um, you have an aeration system, I think, in the tanks yeah, here. Yeah, we've had that in probably seven or eight years now. Okay. Maybe a wee bit less. Yeah, what's the benefit of that, do you find? Uh, they don't have to mix it. Uh, there isn't as much of a smell comes out. Yeah. As you can hear, it's on, it's on now. And the slurry tower itself then, you've covered that as well. Why did you yeah, cover that, do you think? Covered that really to keep smell down and uh, stop water going into the tank as well. I find that there's quite a lot of water getting in from rain. Okay. Um, and there's quite a few houses getting built near here, so it's just really the future proof of the suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get on with the neighbours. Yeah. So Jason, we're looking at a covered tower here. Yes. Um, why why would people cover a tower? Well, basically, I suppose. One big factor, uh, I suppose, to reduce uh, the amount of rainwater that's getting into their, into their tanks. I suppose the average rainfall here, they're talking 48 inches plus uh, with us. So it's essentially increasing your storage by a, by a ring uh, and the cost of uh, spreading that nowadays with increase in the, in the price of diesel and whatnot, it, uh, it, it factors onto the, to the payback. Uh, another big point, I suppose, is the, the emissions, is really reducing the ammonia. And then they were up towards 90% uh, reduction in ammonia there by, by fitting one of these roofs. So, for somebody that has a tank already in place or, you know, even building a new one and they want to put a cover on, what's the process? How do you make it? Or? Well, the, the process is the roof is made specifically for that, uh, for that store, so it's measured up and f so they're all, they're all made to, to suit. Uh, each tank. Now they can be easily fitted to nearly all stores unless uh, they're not structurally sound, they're really old uh, tanks I'm referring to there. Uh, the the perma store tanks, there, there's no issue on that. Uh, there would have to be uh, a reinforcing ring put around the top angle here, just at the, to the top of the store to take the, the pressures off that. They don't all need that, some of them come out and they're manufactured like that, but it's a, it's a check that we have to do. Uh, to, to make that. Uh, the concrete stores as well, there's no issue uh, fitting to those. Okay, so how is the cover suspended? The cover is suspended there with a, a tropical hardwood uh, pole. Uh, depending on the diameter, it'll be 400 by 400 or 500 by 500 as well. So that is uh, fitted on a, on a stainless steel uh, box and, which is bolted to the floor dead center. So that, that then suspends the roof. So there's a stainless steel cap at the top of the roof, which fits onto the top of the pole. On that stainless steel dish, which fits down evenly when the pressures are put on with the straps coming down the sides of the store. Now, as you can see, the straps come down here to this first angle on it. That's where you have three straps for pretty much every sheet, and a sheet's nine foot. Um, Cost-wise? Cost-wise on a typical Roof, this 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 here is about 76 foot in diameter. You're probably talking there somewhere between 25 and 30 thousand sterling. 